Palo Alto Network's firewalls use signatures to detect known software exploits. Attach a vulnerability protection profile to all security policy rules to protect against buffer overflows, illegal code execution, and other attempts to exploit client-side or server-side software vulnerabilities. A vulnerability protection profile configures the actions taken by the firewall when an exploit is detected in allowed traffic. Each vulnerability protection profile can contain one or more rules to process different types of threats in different ways. In a zero trust configuration, no zone is completely trusted, so a vulnerability protection profile should be attached to all security policy rules that allow traffic. In the demonstration, we have browsed to objects, security profiles, vulnerability protection. The strict and default vulnerability profiles are pre-configured in PanOS. The outbound VP, internal VP, and inbound VP vulnerability protection profiles were configured by a firewall administrator according to best practice. The outbound VP profile has two rules. The first rule detects any software vulnerability with a critical high or medium severity level. It also resets both the client and server side when a vulnerability is detected. It also captures a single packet that contains the software exploit. The second rule detects any spyware with a low or informational severity level and takes the Palo Alto Network's defined default action. It also does not take a packet capture. You should attach the outbound VP profile to security policy rules that allow outbound traffic. The demonstration also illustrates the best practice configuration for the internal VP and inbound VP vulnerability protection profiles that you should attach to security policy rules that allow either internal or inbound traffic. If you are concerned about initially blocking legitimate traffic, you can configure an alert only VP profile. However, be aware that with such a profile, the firewall only alerts you to the presence of an exploit, but does not block it. Although initially you can use an alert only VP profile, you should switch to an outbound VP, inbound VP, or internal VP profile as soon as possible. To create an alert-only VP profile, click Add. Name the profile alert-only VP. Then click Add again and name the first and only rule Alert All. Change the action to Alert and leave all other options at their default settings. Click OK a couple of times to save your configuration. At this point, we have a complete set of starting vulnerability protection profiles that we can attach to our security policy rules.